Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. I'm RJ, joining up in Next Gen GTA 5 with Mike. What's up, everyone? Here we are at another mysterious cave. We know in the last gen, this cave was pretty small. You do have a door here that you cannot blow open. No. And it was really such a small cave that it was kind of pointless anyways. Right. But in this version of GTA 5, the other mysterious cave now blasts open. Right. We can explore a mine shaft. So we've had a ton of people saying for us to come out over to this cave, see if we can do the same exact thing. Unfortunately, guys, that is not the case. We can't get in. Of course, we'll try it, but we already did try it off screen. Let's go ahead and use the uh, sticky bombs. We also have the new railgun. You know if that's not gonna open it, yeah. nothing will. But another thing worth pointing out, Mike, is that before we could use the cell phone to pull off a glitch, which let us look inside the cave, and that's how we knew that it was really pretty tiny. Now, the glitch doesn't work at all. So, right. much like a lot of the other glitches here in Next Gen GTA 5 that they've kind of smoothed out, there's not right. nearly as many, especially the ones that we came across in the last version. Many of them are gone. And uh, one of them being that we no longer can look through the door, so we can't really verify that this cave is tiny. Because once again, in the last version, it seemed like it was so small that you couldn't fit a vehicle and maybe you could fit a jetpack, but it was so small. It was almost like it was just a set piece. Yep. But the thing about this cave, Mike, is that it looks almost identical to the one found in Back to the Future 3. That's right. And in that cave, you could find the DeLorean because that's, that's where right. they hid the DeLorean from the local town there yep. until they can get it to work. Yep. And what do then you think? They, uh, You've seen the movie. Doesn't it yeah, look like it? It absolutely does. I mean, and it's in like, you know, a similar uh, setting. It's Big very, time. very mysterious. They have this pole out front there. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what that's for. And of course, we looked at anything, this but... in depth in the last version and nothing's different here at all. No. But it is definitely worth pointing out that this is probably another clue to Back to the Future, especially because this is a cave where the DeLorean was held. Right. So now that we don't really know the size of it, of course, let us know, guys, if you found a way to glitch and figure out if it's still pretty small. But maybe they made it bigger. Maybe something's in there. Uh, let's try to maybe open it up with a rocket. I guess that could be even stronger than the railgun, but I doubt it. Uh, we want to show off a couple other things in this area, guys. Let us know what you think about what is probably another reference to Back to the Future here in the game. There's certainly been a bunch. Um, man, wouldn't that be epic if the DeLorean, a vehicle we really want to be in the game, was in that cave, Mike? It would be. I mean, that would be such an epic thing to have something in that cave. Oh, hell but, yeah. you know, maybe they'll add it in a DLC or update. Who mm -hmm. knows? Uh, but we at this moment... There's nothing we can do to blow that open. Not at all. So The other cave is now completely open to us. It has a pretty big mine shaft with a dead body in it. <laughs> this cave is still closed for now. Uh, but it's worth pointing out that you have this huge hill. So there is a lot of room down there for perhaps an underground chamber. has <laughs> something going yeah. on. Uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on. Once again, a lot of you have told us to come check this out. Uh, we understand many people do not yet have Next Gen GTA 5, so if there's anything you want us to check out, let us know. We'll definitely go uh, see it, as yeah. there still are a couple other things we will be checking out. After this episode, we'll work on another one, because there are some suspicious locations and uh, we got to go see them for the very first time. Yeah. Uh, this area is pretty cool, Mike. I know you've come across it a couple times yes. in your playthrough of the game. This is an obvious location for the full moon party. There's a lot of telescopes located here. Uh, just a really nice chill area. I would like to come here, have a beer. Yeah. You know, just post up and check out the full moon. Look you out see for the UFOs. Chairs, table, mm -hmm. you know, even tents there if you look. Yeah. So people are staying here overnight. Definitely. Uh, so it, it leads to tell you that 
there is a possibility for a full moon party here. Yeah, there is a spaceship part normally found right here. We did collect them all. And I gotta say, in our 100% file we have in the 360 version... Ooh, notice something there. What'd you notice? Um, if you turn to the left there, you see a mini windmill. Yeah, I actually wanted to point that out. It reminds <laughs> me a lot of the windmill found in the altruist camp. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. Interesting, Very interesting, right? But uh, what I wanted to say is that in the 360 version where we have a 100% file, a lot of times there are people hanging out here and they're looking oh. through the telescopes, but I haven't seen anybody here yet. Maybe it's just bad timing as far as when I've come across. Right. Maybe you do have to have 100% come back during the full moon to see if this is indeed where the full moon party is. Definitely something we'll be uh, looking at once we complete the game, which will be soon. I'm working hard for it, guys. We'll show off everything for you, all of the UFOs. We'll try out a ton of theories. There's one last thing we're going to look at in this episode, Mike, and this is pretty important, I think. In fact, I've been wanting to show this off for a while, but it looks better than ever here with the yes. next-gen graphics. Underneath the Ultra's camp, you have that strange cave. We've already looked at that. In the cave, there's a bunch of symbols, an eternal flame, and a skull. Is that skull a possible link to this one here? Because I've been looking so hard for another skull in the game. I played a lot of GTA San Andreas, and I found a lot of them in that game, just in random places. Right. In this game, they're nowhere to be found, except for this one right here. Yes. It's huge, Mike. Very detailed. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Very, very large. I mean, even in the uh, logo there for Rebel. Yeah. So, um, and it's very interesting at night when you come here. Um, the tower has red lights. Yeah, this tower and right here, you can see the red on here now. It blinks and shines pretty brightly yes. when you come at night. Of course, it is a radio tower. So, Mike and I were talking off camera, and what we were thinking is that maybe this is a sign that Rebel Radio does have significance, guys. So uh, we'll just be listening to it during our playthrough as we 100% the game. Uh, I've heard some people say that there's been some suspicious noises found on the radio. I'm not sure if it actually is Rebel Radio where they heard that. We'll look into that. If you guys are playing the next-gen version of GTA V, Definitely give us a heads up if you think there's anything to Rebel Radio here in the skull. Something worth pointing out because you have that skull in the Altruist Cave, Mike. Right. It definitely has some kind of symbolism. Yeah, it probably, looks exactly the same. I mean, definitely does. And it uh, probably has something to do with the Chiliad mystery. There's more to discover here in Next Gen GTA 5. We're almost sure of it. We cannot wait till we complete the game. Mike, uh, we've tried so many theories, uh, especially concerning the wow signal and the uh, beam me up sign that can be found at the Sandy Shores UFO location. Yes. That's one that we're going to have to check out right away. Absolutely. We're going to have to look at that location and see if we can pull off anything with the Space Stalker that we now have. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about the 88 mile per hour clue, which can be found in Lester's house. Uh, we showed that off in the last version. It was a lot blurrier, but you could definitely tell that it was a reference to the DeLorean. Now it looks pretty crisp in this version, and there's so many clues that the DeLorean will have significance in this game, including the cave that we looked at in this episode. It is still closed. Hopefully we can find a DeLorean other than the jetpack. I think that's the number one most requested vehicle here in the game we do have the space docker which could be a pseudo version of the legendary vehicle from back to the future what do you yes. think mike do you think that could be the closest we're going to get to it it very well could be that could be rockstar's sort of uh copy of the delorean mm -hmm. um which and is you know either way the space docker is a cool vehicle to have in this game it's really sure. cool how it's good off-road and um it's it's very interesting vehicle yeah of course all the horns as well yeah. very crazy stuff we have a lot planned with that guys make sure to stay tuned i'm rj for mike stay trippy we'll see you next time guys later <laughs>